Why should these snot-nosed kids today, why should I be paying for their college education? I don't want to. This is what Megyn Kelly says in response to the idea that we should cancel student debt. Now, for those of you who don't know, um, the Biden administration extended the pause on student loan repayments uh, to September, which means there is no way he doesn't extend it past September. Because if you were to force everyone to resume making their student loan payments two months before the election, that is political suicide. And even Democrats, as feckless and clueless as they usually are, would not be that dumb. So I'm just going to assume that we don't resume payments on student loans until 2023. Either way, just cancel it. That would be great. But Megyn Kelly says no, because she doesn't want to pay for that. So let's uh, go ahead and listen. This person is just like busting a gut, though. I wonder what she said. That's so funny. I think about it in my own life. My oh, wait, maybe. OK, I think that she's sharing a clip and she's not on their show. I assumed that she was on their show, but that's not the case. I haven't pre-watched this, so I don't necessarily know specifically what she'll say. But um, OK my audience knows that my dad died suddenly when I was 15 of a heart attack and my mom already had two kids in college at that point my brother and sister are older than I am they're in college she's trying to you know she he was only 45 we were not in mm. we weren't rich to begin with so it's not like he had some big fat life insurance policy he had the, like the bare minimum you have when you're in your 40s and you're yeah, a professor which is what he was um, anyway what did she do she used the entirety of that that payment to, to pay for the rest, what she could, of my brothers and sisters' college and my college education. And all three of us had to take out loans on top of it, of course. So, like, do I... So, if you want your college to be paid for, it's easy. Just have your dad die and then cash in on the uh, life insurance and that's how you pay for college. It's simple. I think now that, you know, I would have been better off if the federal government had stepped in. Look, it would have been nice, but that's... that I don't think the neighbor should have to pay for my college education and my mom made a sacrifice she could have been living off of that money suddenly she didn't have a you know two income home but she used it to help her children like that's what but how often are people going to have a big lump sum of cash to where they can pay for multiple kids student loans i mean this is extremely unreasonable and very selfish well you see i got taken care of and, you know, if that doesn't happen to you, if you don't get lucky enough to see one of your parents die so you can get, you know, the life insurance, then I don't know what to say. Fuck you, I got mine. Megan, this is not a solid argument at all. Like, this is a very, very stupid and self-centered point. It's due. They scrimp and they save and they do what's necessary to pay for things like education. And we took out loans, too. And then we paid those loans back. That right. But not as much had your dad not died and left your family with the life insurance money, right? So it was easier for you to pay that back because you had a huge infusion of cash there. Whereas most people, the totality of their student debt, it's all just taken out and they, they don't have a ton of cash to just pay it off. Like that's not, that's not realistic. That's not realistic. There's $1.6 trillion worth of debt and millions of Americans are bogged down by it. Uh, statistically, how likely are many of them going to be as lucky as as Megyn Kelly? And I say lucky, obviously, uh, facetiously, because it would have been better had her dad survived, obviously. I think that she is probably sad that she lost her dad, but I mean, like, circumstances led to you having more money. Not everyone is going to have that opportunity. I just, I just feel like this is such a weird argument. It's very selfish. Why should these snot-nosed kids today? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> the ones who really need it, they can oh, she, get loans. She is on their podcast. Okay, well, whatever. That's why he's busting the gut, because she called them snot-nosed kids. Right? But like like you point out, a lot of these people are going to be these sort of college Columbia elite graduates who are going to spend their years in journalism trying to shame half of America for doing absolutely nothing wrong. Why should I be paying for their college education? I don't want to. Well, I don't want to pay for bloated military budgets. I don't want to pay for roads um, that aren't near me that I won't be using, right? I don't want to pay for fucking schools when I don't have kids in school. We don't have a choice, Megan. Shut the fuck up, okay? We all contribute. This is the reason why we live in a society, folks, right? We all pull our resources together and we make society better for everyone. So even if I might not necessarily benefit from uh, 
the public school system near me because I don't have children to send to these schools, I still think it's good. You know, um, if you if you own a home, you're going to be paying property taxes that go to schools, right? If you pay taxes, if you work a job and they take that out of your paycheck, it's going to go to fund roads, right? We all fund things that we don't necessarily use. It's part of living in a society. One thing that she doesn't even realize is that the overwhelming majority of student debt is held by the government. So it's not like they have to come up with the money to pay for it. The government just says, okay, we're not going to do this anymore. It's, it's literally that simple. Joe Biden can do it via executive order. You don't have to find uh, ways to pinch pennies to pay for it. Like, what a dumb argument. Does she even realize what she's saying? And they laugh so much when she says snot nose kid. Is that really that clever? Like, it just makes you sound like a crotchety old woman, Megan. I'm gonna come. Come, come, come. Do not come. Come, come, 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 come. come.